a study was conducted to determine how people get jobs. The table lists data from 400 randomly selected subjects. Construct a Pareto chart that corresponds to the given data. If someone would like to get a job, what seems to be the most effective approach? Okay, so in this case here, we don't have anything to open us up in a stack crunch. So we want to open up stack crunch so we can create a Pareto chart. Now, if you notice, this, the, the values for the, for the, the vertical axis goes from 0 to 300. And you notice that these are abbreviated in those initials. So we're going to select Get More Help. We're going to open up Stack Crunch. Okay, so when we open up Stack Crunch, we're going to create the first column, and we're going to call that Job Sources. Okay, which is what we have over here. And then we have Frequency. Okay, so Help Wanted Ads represents H. Okay, Executive Search for Firms represents E. Networking is N, capital N, and then mass mailing is M. Okay, and then we're going to put the frequency in there. So we have 30 for H, 273 for E, 41 for N, and 56 for M. So what you notice here is that this represents the summary because these are all the numbers totaling for H. Now, if this was all the data, then it would be considered data. So when we want to create a Pareto chart, we're going to go to Graph, select Bar Plot, and then we want to select With Summary. Now, what we want to do is select the categories in, which is Job Sources, which is what we created. And then the counts are going to be in the frequency. And now with the Pareto chart, we want the values to be uh, descending. So we want the count to be descending. We're going to select values above the bar, okay, and then we're going to go ahead and select compute. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and do that. So now if you take a look here, we have 273, 56, 41, and then 30. So if we take a look over here, this looks like it's at 273. This is above 50, which is about 56. This looks like it might be 41, and that could be 30. And then let's match the letters. We have A, E, M, N, and then H. Okay, this one is not descending because it starts low, goes high, low, and then higher again. So it's not going to be B. Okay, if we take a look at C, it's very similar to B. It's not in descending order. Okay, and then if we look at D and compare that with A, well, it looks like these are the same as far as how far they go. But if you look here, the letters are E, H, E, N, and M. So it's not going to be D because it matches A. So we're going to select A and check our answer. And there is our result. Now it says, if someone would like to get a job, what seems to be the most effective approach? Well, if you look here, blue is the one that represents E, which is the executive search firm firms. So it looks like we're going to select that one. And therefore, that is our result.